guys welcome back to the channel this is mom 33 here aka crystal with a c back at you with another video but if you're new to my channel you just happen to click on welcome 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 i try to put out one or two videos a week i do sit downs reviews reactions vlogs so if any of that interests you make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel and if you see anything you like before you leave it makes you subscribe so today you guys i've just been filming like a few different videos so if you're seeing the same outfit the same get up that's why because um whenever i do go out and if i have the time i try to film like whatever videos that are kind of pending on my agenda so yeah like kind of like a lot of my items have hit like the one two three year mark even coming up on four so i wanted to really do a review um get kind of some of these reviews out and pumping so you guys can kind of see how these different items hold up over time and this video is no exception i'm going to be doing a one-year review on my apple ipad mini so you guys it's crazy to think that i've had this ipad mini for over a year now um purchased it september 24th 2021 i think that was when it came out i think it was the 24th of last year but um yeah i was back and forth hemming and hawing about this particular item because i had a previous ipad i had the ipad generation 3 yeah that's old i know um i bought that one back in 2012 and i hadn't used that ipad in years so i had pretty much told myself that i just was not an ipad person so um i was using my phone pretty much for everything and then Apple had their event. I, t I looked at the event and um, just to see what kind of, I was curious to see what new products were gonna be coming out. I think at the time I was interested in buying an Apple Watch Series 7 because I wanted to buy an Apple Watch for a while. So I watched that event and um, I think that event they did talk about the Apple Watch if I'm not mistaken, maybe they didn't. But um, yeah, like I happened to see them talking about the redesigned iPad mini and it caught me you guys i caught the apple bug i blame this product it, it got me started with the apple bug um and especially because like they you know released the different colors with the ipad mini and they talked about the purple which purple is my favorite color if you don't know so yeah they'd be catching me with the the colored items and so yeah they caught me with the purple for the ipad mini um i've always heard good things about the ipad mini but I just, like I said, I just haven't been an iPad person. I've had my iPad, I still have my iPad generation three. It still works. Um, I mean, the screen works, there's no cracks or anything in it. It's just very slow. That one was, I think 16 gigabytes. So if you can even imagine, like there are no devices that I can, I think of anyway, that I can think of that are like 16 gigabytes anymore. Cause you pretty much fill up on that really quickly. I think even the base level, like, um, iPad still starts at like maybe 32 or 64 gigabytes. So yeah, just imagine that my iPad generation three that I bought in 2012 was um, 16 gigabytes. So that, you know, space definitely filled up really quickly, no longer got updates. So it just kind of, um, yes, it's in limbo. Um, so yeah, like I was not in the market for a new iPad, but I did see the announcement. Um, and I convinced myself I, I, I needed an iPad. So um, I ended up, yeah, purchasing this. I didn't pre-order this, but I did purchase it on the day that it came out. Went a little far, far out from where I live to pick it up. And um, I've been using it since, you guys. Um, as far as the frequency with which I use the iPad mini and what I use it for, let's get into that. So frequency really varies and depends because I do have another iPad that I will be talking about as well, which is the um, iPad Pro. I did purchase that one after purchasing this one. Um, and um, yeah, so I really was using this one like pretty much every single day when I first got it. Um, pretty much what I wanted to use this particular iPad for was editing videos as well as content consumption because I was doing everything on my phone and it has led to a lot of um, battery degradation on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, just because like, again, you know, doing everything on one device, you do overly tax that device. So yeah, my phone has had a lot of battery degradation, especially too, because I do film on my phone um, in the past two years of me owning it. Uh, so I did want to get another device to maybe share some of the load. Um, you know, part of the load being the editing of my videos. So I do edit everything on my iPad mini, um, which you guys have seen my videos and kind of the quality. So, 
um, I don't do a whole lot of editing. Um, you know, just kind of inserting certain things here and there. Uh, so yeah, um, a lot of my editing is done on iMovie. So yeah, I do that on here. I do like having a bigger screen to do that, a little bit more flexibility. Um, I do have my Apple Pencil uh, Generation 2 with it as well, which I did not think I would really use this Apple Pencil as much as I do. I use this pretty much um, every time I do use my iPad Mini or my iPad Pro, just because it's just really easy to write out notes and different things like that with the Apple Pencil. So I would highly recommend the Apple Pencil Generation 2. I definitely was not a Apple Pencil iPad person and I have definitely become one in the past year given these two you know items. So with the iPad mini, I do edit videos on here. So I do use my Apple Pencil for that. Also, um, I will take this to church with me and you do have the option of like the side view. So on one side of the screen, I can have my Bible pulled up um, on the Bible app. And then on the other side, I have my notes app pulled up where I can write notes again using my Apple Pencil. So um, that's the primary uses for my iPad mini now. Since I got my iPad Pro, um, I typically will use my iPad Pro for content consumption because the speakers are better and the picture is better with the 120 gigahertz refresh rate. So it's just a smoother experience on the iPad Pro. Um, not to take away anything from the mini, but I do have visual issues and deficits. So that's why I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. That's why I do have devices with bigger screens because I don't have to strain my eyes as much, um, you know, with a smaller device. Um, and I just tend to like bigger devices anyway. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm just a weirdo like that. So um, I like the iPad mini for the convenience of it. It does fit in a lot of my handbags, but I do love the iPad Pro just when I'm at home on a daily basis for content consumption, um, even for um, digital planning, all of that I do on my iPad Pro. But um, yeah, this device I absolutely love. There's nothing wrong with consuming content here, but when I know it's gonna look better on my Pro, I'm going to reach for my pro. So um, that's kind of the thing here. This does have touch ID um, on the iPad um, pro or iPad mini. iPad pro, I use face ID. So this is kind of like the setup of my apps and all the things right now. And again, it's like a 60 gigahertz refresh rate, which if you've never used 120, you really can't tell the difference. The 60 is not garbage or trash, you guys. It's just different. It's a little, um, it's not as smooth as the 120 gigahertz refresh rate experience. But it's not like when I use this, I don't feel like I'm necessarily downgrading. I just feel like it's perfect for what it is. Uh, so again, I will, you know, do my little editing. I will upload videos. I'll view some content on here, but mostly again, I'm writing notes. Like um, I've used this for grocery shopping in the past before as well. I can, you know, use my little Apple pencil. I can write down my list. I can check off things while I'm in the store. So yeah, I'm a little bougie like that. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I've elevated from the paper and pencil, um, you know, grocery list to now I put my grocery list on the iPad mini. Not exclusively, sometimes I will still do paper and pencil, but um, a lot of times, yeah, I'll do a grocery list on here. It is more sustainable. I mean, let's be honest. So um, yeah, like I would say a year later, I do still use this quite a bit, even with my iPad Pro, but it's just, I use it differently now with the introduction of the Pro. Um, so yeah, this one is used a, a bit less than the Pro on a daily basis, but I still really love this. I still feel like um, it's very portable, which I really love. And it does, um, you know, carry well in a lot of my handbags. I do love the purple, I'm not gonna lie. It just fits in the palm of your hand so perfectly. And I, you know, have bigger hands, you guys, so. <laughs> so yeah, like, you know, this fits in, you know, my, my hands really well. Um, yeah, when I'm viewing content, it's almost like having a bigger phone. Like my thumbs can hit most of the areas of the screen. Um, I just think it's really cool. I do have the, um, you can see it's dirty, but I do have the little case cover. I think it's like English lavender is what this case cover color is called. So I did get the Apple one. So it's this one right here. And then, um, yeah, this is the interior of it. And of course, again, the exterior. So 
um a little dirty but as far as the cover is concerned but it does the job i did buy a third party cover that um would hold my apple pencil but i ended up going back to the apple one i don't know it's just simple and it's just I don't know it's just basic where i find that other covers they do better protect the ipad mini but they're a bit more bulky which means that um it's going to take up more room when i want to carry it like say in my handbag or you know taking it somewhere it's just going to be more bulky so i just feel like this um you know is this is just better for me and it just gives it more of a sleek profile um, in my bag. So um, that's pretty much all I really wanted to say about the um, iPad mini and how I'm liking it a year later. If you guys own the iPad mini, let me know how you're liking it a year later if you did purchase the updated one here. Um, also, I did want to mention I did get the one with the 256 gigabytes and this one does not have the cellular. I don't regret not getting the cellular. I know a lot of um, people who did get this item were recommending to get the cellular so you can use it and you don't have to use the um the hotspot the mobile hotspot on your phone because it is a little bit slower when it computes to the um your other external devices but i rarely use internet on this when i use it out like i said with my bible app and my notes they're already built in so they don't require internet um if i do need to use the internet i can just use my phone or i can enable the hotspot to use it with this um, because i won't be using the hotspot with this for a long period of time um, or sometimes I just leave this at home, you guys, and I just use my phone. So it's, I mean, it's completely fine for me. Um, but if you're a student or somebody who is going to predominantly use this device as your daily driver, so to speak, then maybe you do want to upgrade to the cellular model, but it is more expensive. I think this was like, I don't know, when it was all said and done, I feel like this was like $800 to get like this this the 256 gigabytes that i got on this because it was either 64 or 256 and then to get the apple pencil as well and that was with like my discount that i get too um i think it was about 800 dollars. i want to say so yeah like if you add the cellular onto that you're talking about yeah probably nearly a thousand dollars um so it just has to be worth it to you. I'm not here to say that it's not worth it, but it just was not worth it to me. So I'm glad I didn't get this cellular on this. I'm glad I did get the 256 because I do use the internal storage for these devices. So actually I had to delete a whole bunch of stuff in the past week because I was getting close to that 256. Uh, so yeah, like, um, if you're planning on having this for the long term, I would recommend upgrading to the higher storage amount. Otherwise, you may find yourself with an issue where you run out of storage and you do have to use external storage devices to plug into this. But I just, I don't know, I just like it simple. I just like to use the internal storage on the devices. So I try to upgrade, you know, especially since I know that I was going to use this primarily for editing. So I'll do, um, you know, the, um, I forgot what you call it, but I'll do the Apple transfer um you know of different videos and stuff from my phone to here um and then yeah like um i was trying to remember what it's called i can't remember what it's called though um yeah i can't remember what it's called it'll come to me but um yeah i'll do that um apple transfer and then yeah um pretty much it's the storage is on here so I had to go back through in the past week and yeah, delete all of that, you guys, so I can continue to use the internal storage because it was full. So um, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. If you do plan on having this device over the long term, you may want to upgrade to the higher storage option. So that's pretty much it, you guys, that I wanted to say for real this time. But if you have any questions, comment below. Um, let me know how your iPad mini has been working for you. If you still own it, did you sell it? Um, you know, have you um, been getting a lot of use out of it? Let me know below, comment. Um, also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure before you leave, you do subscribe to the channel. You do that by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload future videos. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family as well. And I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye.